I've got a story about a guy who assaulted a flight attendant and U.S. Air Marshal on a flight headed to LAX. And also, the Simpsons used ASL. I know. I know, that, I know. Uh, you know, you could maybe make cartoons effective in that way. But, of course, if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be the Simpsons. Simpsons. So we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Right now, let's see what's up on the 15. <laughs> Drive for uh, folks as they're making their way southbound, coming away from, uh, well, as far back as the escape ramp through the Cajon Pass, and you'll see those delays continuing for Kenwood. Really heavy for your drive. 215 north and southbound between the Muscoy and San Bernardino area, and Zavora. 215 north and southbound between the 15 and the 210. Looks like it's pretty rough for your ride in both directions. It's Cal Trans Cruiser wrapping up shop in the area, and also seeing delays for you. 215 northbound as you come uh, through Miranda Valley from Alessandro past the merge of the 60 toward UCR. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Polly Okini. Hey, all it's Dean. Before I go, uh, do you need a new appliance? How's the major appliance shopping going? I'm guessing not great because, yeah, serious supply chain delays out there and price increases. Some brands are up over 20%, and you will, will be waiting eight months or more if your retailer doesn't already have it in stock. It is a mess out there. Here is the solution. Shop where Tina and I shop for all of our design clients. WDC kitchen and bath center. WDC saw this all coming. They secured $25 million of inventory before the recent price jump, before the supply line shut down. Right now, the WDC warehouse looks like that warehouse at the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff in stock, probably exactly what you need, which means free delivery for purchases over $5.99. And here's what you want to hear. Next day delivery to L.A., Ventura, and Santa Barbara County. You can check inventory in real time right on the WDC website. So, in times like these, you need more than just an appliance store. You need the experts that I've trusted for years, WDC. To find the WDC nearest you, go to WDCAppliances.com, WDCAppliances.com. Your time is important. No matter what your age or stage, we know you're busy. That's why you should donate your car to Cars for Kids right now. Cars for Kids offers hassle-free and quick pickup for every donor. Save precious time and fill out the easy online form at carsforkids.org. They'll send someone over the very next day to tow away your old or unusable car. Cars for Kids is the quickest and fastest way to get rid of your car. So do a good deed without losing any time from your schedule. Just go to carsforkids.org today. And remember, that's cars with a K. This report is sponsored by Save Our Water. A little mulch goes a long way. Mulch reduces evaporation and saves water. Use it especially around your plants and trees. Visit SaveOurWater.com for more water-saving tips. That's SaveOurWater.com. Let's all do our part. Save water. Save California. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. The Lakers got 40 points from Taylor Horton Tucker, both fell to the Warriors for their eighth straight loss. They host the Thunder tonight for their home finale. The Angels dropped their opener to the Astros. The Dodgers start their season tonight against the Rockies. And after day one of the Masters, Sunjay M leads at five under. Tiger Woods was one under in his first competitive round in over 500 days. I'm Missy Jordan. Download the DraftKings app and use code SPORTS to get a free shot at millions of dollars up for grabs this week with your first deposit. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply to DraftKings.com for details. At Ralph, fresh groceries are our thing, so we do freshness checks on the items in your delivery order at every step of their journey from our farms to our stores. And pick and pack every blue, raz, and strawberry in your free pickup order with the utmost care. Because we believe in treating your food the same way we'd want ours to be treated. It's the golden rule, only for like fresh fruit and stuff. Order now using the mobile app. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of thirty-five dollars or more. Restrictions may apply. You wouldn't trust a butcher to babysit your pet pig. You wouldn't trust a lumberjack to repair your antiques, or a professional wrestler to be your massage therapist. So why would you trust anyone but Amco to fix your car? For over 50 years, we've been the trusted experts in transmission repair. Check engine light on, we'll check it for free. Limited time offer, restrictions and exclusions apply. See participating centers for full details. AA, NCO. It's easy to feel like no one cares when you're dealing with mental health issues or high-stress situations. But whatever you're facing, Carrie cares. 
Cleveland Council specializes in assisting victims of abuse, high conflict, divorce, separation and custody disputes, family court trauma, and individuals with cluster B personality disorders. Visit Cleveland Counseling in their Calabasas office or online at CarrieAnnCleveland.com. That's CarrieAnnCleveland.com. When you need help, Carrie cares. The True Crime Podcast. What Happened to Sandy Beal investigates the alarming death of a young woman who dreamed of a career in law enforcement. Journalist Melissa Jeltson untangles the mystery at the heart of the investigation, revealing a troubling pattern by officials close to the case. Well, I didn't take any of that crap because I could tell that they were hiding something. Listen to What Happened to Sandy Beal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Millions of Ukrainian refugees have been displaced from their country. They need our help now. iHeartRadio has teamed up with Global Citizen, asking supporters around the world to use their voices to call on world leaders to mobilize urgent refugee relief and humanitarian aid. Join us this weekend for Stand Up for Ukraine. Find out how you can help by donating to relief organizations or by using your voice to advocate for support to fund this global humanitarian crisis. Go to ForUkraine.com and take action today. Portions of the following program will be recorded. The governor wants to send back $400, and people are saying, you know, $400 a one-time hit. Just reduce the taxes. Everybody's going to think it's basically a stimulus oh, check. Yeah. And so uh, he's not going to get much credit for it. Reduce the taxes. Bill Handel. And other states have reduced their taxes. Some have eliminated state taxes completely. Right. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. <laughs> It's been a freaking weekend. Cheers to the freaking weekend. It's Rihanna. I did not. How did I not know this song? And you were just talking about Rihanna earlier this week, so I thought, exactly. why not? Emily's on um, KFI AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. If I had a tattoo, I think Cheers to the freaking weekend would be the one I would get. That's one that I could stick to. Everybody's asked me before. Are you, the, are you the only person in the world who does not have a tattoo? Probably. But honestly, I can't think of something that I'm like, I could do that forever. And I also think, I don't know what part of my body, or what my body part, whatever I chose, would look like when I'm like 70. And then whatever I put on my body might be super wrinkly in that part by then. And then you're not going to know what it is. Like, what if I got, uh, you know, like a cute little dog on my arm? And then all of a sudden, it gets wrinkly on my arm, and then now it just looks like a mushroom or something. I'm, I don't know. These are the things that go on in my head, you guys. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, and uh, some of the facts I can give you. A couple of temp records from 1989 have been broken during this unseasonable heat wave for SoCal. Long Beach got up to 100 degrees yesterday. That's 7 degrees hotter than the previous record. LAX hit 95, also a record. Dodgers versus Rockies today. It is on MLB opening day. So, the Dodgers and the Rockies will play uh, their first game today at Coors Field. This is at 1.10 today. Who's with me? I just posted my picture on uh, Instagram because I might be a little excited. You know when you take a picture of yourself and then you go, Oh, I, well, am I that cheesy? Yes. Yes. I have the hat. I have the sweatshirt. The sweatshirt is kind of um, obnoxious. My sister-in-law got it for me. I feel like... She knows me a little too well. Anyway, JJLKFI on Instagram, and you can follow me on uh, Facebook as well, Jennifer Jones Lee. Let's get back to some of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The man who shot Lady Gaga's dog walker has been released from jail by mistake. Booking records say the man was let go on Wednesday and charges against him were dropped. LA County Sheriff's Department now looking for the guy. A man has pleaded guilty to assaulting a flight attendant and a U.S. Air Marshal on a flight headed to LAX. The altercation happened on a Delta flight from the D.C. area in December. The plane had to make an emergency landing in Oklahoma. The man faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Well, the LAPD, DWP, Bureau of Sanitation, and airports had the most investigations into misused public funds last year. L.A. Controller Ron Galperin says a report found skewed COVID-19 six times sick time and $50,000 worth of falsified time cards. A employee of the Rec and Parks Department violated city policy by using their position to actually gain access to city-owned facilities to host private sports leagues. 
Galperin says that the almost $400,000 of electric vehicles at the Department of Transportation went unused actually for years. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer has sued to protect abortion rights. She is trying to overturn this 176-year-old ban in Michigan that would apply if Roe v. Wade is reversed, making abortions of any circumstance illegal. A woman in Northern California has been arrested on suspicion of killing her two young sons. This couple lives next door to the woman and her family and says they saw the mom being put in a police car. No expression whatsoever. No, nothing. Nothing. Yes, Just a straight, no expression on her face at all. That's what's scary when you watch somebody go into a car or into a police car and they there's nothing. No emotion. The boys were five months old and two and a half years old. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office says the boy's dad called cops yesterday after his wife told him she had hurt the children. The dad found his son drowned in the bathtub. I can't imagine something more horrific. Let's end this on a fun note. The Simpsons is set to introduce a deaf character in its newest episode. Variety says... This is the first time the show will feature American Sign Language and deaf voice actors. The Simpsons is the longest-running animated series in the U.S., having first aired in 1989, and I have a story for the folks in the Northridge area. Have you been waiting for portos? Doesn't everybody who has a porto coming to their area wait, and you drive by, and you're that guy who's driving and slows down because you have to see, is it open yet? Is it open yet? I have good news. The wait is over. It is grand opening for the first Portos in San Fernando Valley. It will be in Northridge is April 12th. That is right around the corner, everybody. So, uh, oh, the, the cheese rolls and the guava cheese rolls uh, and the potato balls. I'll stop. This is KFI and KOST HD2 Los Angeles. Let's take a look at that drive. Nick Taliokini, what's your favorite from Portos, I have to ask? <laughs> It's got to be the Rescue Heel Rolls, which is the guava and cheese. For Yay! Sure. So, yes, yeah. I love those. <laughs> delicious. Taking the drive, Jen, not so delicious on the westbound 60. As folks are making their way through the South Monte area through South San Gabriel. Westbound 60 as uh, folks are making their way toward Rosemary Boulevard. Looks like it's a crash involving a bigger, you know. Allegedly, everything's up against the center divider, but those delays popped up real quick out of nowhere. So, 60 westbound right now, coming away from the 605. It's going to be heavy heading toward uh, San Gabriel Boulevard and then loosens up beyond that as you make way further westbound along the 60. 10 west is an alternate to the 60 westbound. Going to be a bit busy for you through Baldwin Park. Seeing delays from before. Francis Quito as you make way toward the 605. Knock on wood so far. The 210 westbound, not bad whatsoever out of Glendora off the 57. Uh, Smidges is slowing for you to about, oh, let's say Sunflower and then further westbound the 210. Pretty much wide open for the drive all the way through the Pasadena area. Got an update of something slowing down your drive. Pound 250 on your cell phone. Keyword, KFI traffic. Problems for your drive in the South LA area on the northbound side of the 110 near Slauson. It's an early right clip of the right shoulder delay. Start right around Slauson, 110 northbound, and that remains busy toward the 10. KFI and the Sky helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Pagliokini. What do you mean I can't write off my lunches by the pool at Morongo? It's called market research. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. Get free access to the Oasis Pool when you book your room at MorongoCasinoResort.com. And of course, that includes the Lazy River and Water Slide. Number four. Dolly Parton Gift Giveaway. Get a butterfly serving tray when you earn 500 points on your rewards card. The 11th or 12th. Three. Scotty McCreary Live, April 24th. Get your tickets now. Number two. $500 drawing. You can win $500 cash playing table games with your rewards card. Wednesdays and Thursdays, noon to 10.30 p.m. And the number one reason. Piscato is open. Come get the freshest, most delicious seafood by the one and only top chef, Fabio Viviani. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times! It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity during tax season because so much sensitive info is all together. Before we start the annual meeting of Sean's personal info, uh, has anyone seen Social Security number? Not me. Nope. Nah. -uh. Oh, no. He's been stolen. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, we'll work to fix it. No one can monitor all transactions, but you can save up to 25% off your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Identity theft protection starts here. The world's biggest health freedom event is coming to Los Angeles on April 10th. 
celebrities, athletes, influencers, and scientists including Jenny McCarthy, Kevin Sorbo, Lee Allen Baker, Del Bigtree, Naomi Wolf, Dr. Pierre Corey, and Dr. Robert Malone. Don't miss it. Defeat the mandates, US.com. The truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose. It will defend itself. April 10th, Graham Park. Go to Defeat the Mandates, US.com. Tech Medicine of USA. World-class health care built on possibility. SoCal weather from KFI. It is another hot one in our heat advisory lasts until 6 this afternoon. Highs today will be again 80s, low 90s at the beaches. We'll be in the mid-90s to the low 100s for Metro LA and OC. And we'll be in the upper 90s to low 100s for the valleys in the IE. Then we should cool it down later tonight. We lead local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. This has been your wake-up call. Handle on the news starts now. Handle on the news. Handle on the news. And now, here's Bill Handle. Already a Friday. Yeah. And the weekend is here. So tomorrow, uh, we get a day, well, some of you get a day off. Uh, as uh, I come back for Handle on the Law. By the way, I have not had uh, a two-day uh, weekend my entire adult working life. I've never worked less than six days a week. I'm so sorry for myself. Are you? I'm, yeah, actually I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> I know. Because I, I did the same thing for 25 years. Did you? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I, I want to join in, but no. no. No, of course not. Of course not. Anyway, uh, good morning as uh, we start this Friday. If I feel a little tired, uh, I woke up just before 2 this morning. If I sound a little tired, uh, oh boy. And so, you know, walk. Then I'll go downstairs, a uh, cup of coffee, bagel, and turn on CNN uh, and Fox. Uh, I want to see what's going on in the world, and I want to see how Joe Biden has completely destroyed the earth as we know it uh, overnight. Oh, good morning, uh, Jennifer. Hi, good morning, Handel. Happy uh, opening day for the Dodgers. Oh, today is opening day. Okay. Yeah, they play the Rockies. Yesterday it was the Angels. Today it was the uh, Dodgers opening day. Okay, which is why you're dressed in jo Dodger blue. Yeah, I got my Dodger sweatshirt, my hat. Yeah. With the distance today. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, when's the, when do you go to your next game, or when do you go to your first game? of the You know what? Game? I don't have tickets yet. Amy King keeps inviting me, and I can't, it's all these times I can't go, so it's pending. Let's put yeah. it that way. And uh, Wayne, good morning. Good morning. I'll just add that uh, Freddie Freeman has proven himself to be a massive class act in the face of some hate thrown his way by an what? unlikely person. That's all a tease <gasps> for the uh, sportscast at uh, 630. Okay. And uh, Alice, good morning. Good morning. Uh, and uh, Tyler, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Happy opening day for the Red Sox. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're Nobody a Red Sox cares. fan? I'm a Red Sox fan. Yes, well, yes. at least you're not a, a San Francisco Giants fan. That is true. Right. Let me tell you, around here, Red Sox, nobody cares about. Bean uh, Town is that away, Tyler. Uh, uh, yeah. On my I way. met a guy in the grocery store last night. I was wearing my Dodgers hat. Scott had his Atlanta uh, Braves t-shirt on. And the guy who was behind us at Stater Brothers, named Steve, by the way, who's a big listener, which is why I'm giving him a shout-out this morning. Steve says to us, like, whoa, that must be a difficult house to live in, you guys. And we start chatting him up. And all he said was, just to my husband, was, I'm glad you're not a Giants fan. Yeah, that's what uh, Dodgers fans are about. Oh, Tyler, let me ask you a question, because I don't follow baseball all that much. Uh, do the Red Sox actually wear Red Sox? On occasion, they do, yes. But not as part of their uniform. No, they do. Do they? They do, yeah. Okay, I, I thought they would be. No, mm. fair enough. And, uh, Baldy. Now, is that considered red? No, red socks is not considered, uh, racist or pejorative, is it? Because a lot of people wear red socks. You know, is that a use to red socks? I have no idea. All right, uh, a lot going on today, as you can imagine. More horrible news out of Ukraine, for sure. Uh, can, uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson, uh, we knew, actually won. Yeah, you know what was so horrible watching the vote, uh, was. The, I mean, the applause was wild among the Democrats, but the Republicans were soured, they were dour, they're walking out of the room as if they had just stepped in, uh, you know, a pile of dog crap, it was, oh, horrible, terrible. You know what? Yeah, come 
come on, guys. You know, what happened when your three people were elected? I don't even remember what the Democrats did. Uh, did they do the same thing? When uh, I don't remember, the, I, I don't remember. But it's you know, such sour grapes on both sides. Really is. It's come just, on, it's kind of you know people robot. bitched about uh, Donald Trump uh, nominating the three super conservatives. Hey, that's the way our constitution works, and it swings both ways. And the court was so liberal for so long. Life swings, uh, you know, it's it's cyclical, and there's not much. Come on, you know, wake up, please. You know, this is America. Can you appreciate America? Probably not. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into Handle on the News, Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne, and me. Lead story. Well, uh, the United Nations voted Russia right out of the Human Rights Council, citing the Bucha killings. I'll do more about that at uh, 7 o'clock, a little bit of what it means, uh, how it works, and how it is uh, completely useless. And it really says nothing. Actually, it does say it in terms of how many uh, members, uh, member countries of the UN abstained, uh, where they said, you know what, we're not going to get into it. You can kill all the Ukrainians you want. We're going to stay way away from it. Uh, way away from it. Uh, well, I don't know if they actually said that. They denounced the killing, but certainly not denouncing Russia for the killing. So that's coming up at 7 o'clock. All right, so we know that we've watched Russia reposition itself, pull out of Kiev and focus more on the eastern side of Ukraine. And now Ukraine says a Russian missile has killed 30 people. It hit a train station that was evacuating civilians. And it takes us right back to that thing that we have talked about, the untenable decision that the civilians are having to make. Do we stay in these war-torn regions and just hope for the best, or do we put ourselves and our kids' lives at risk and try and get them out via a train station or a humanitarian corridor, knowing full well that there is a chance that something like this could happen. My question is, how many innocents are going to have to be killed before, not so much boots on the ground, but for the Western world, just piles on every piece of military equipment that exists, those MiGs, uh, the uh, various advanced missiles, missile systems, uh, personnel carrier, at the top of the list, because still uh, Biden, as well as Western leaders, are holding off. Is it going to take wholesale killings of entire villages? Uh, is it going to take lining up civilians by the hundreds and mowing them down? And even then, I have my doubts that that would happen. Uh, I mean, we're already seeing it. What were we just talking about, Bucha, with all the people, like you said, uh, the people who were ex or who were killed execution style? Yeah, but we're not talking about the entire uh, the entirety of Bucha. No, but I'm just saying that we're already seeing signs. Oh yeah, of that, we actually you know, we are. Starting. Oh, there's no question we are. Uh, but the issue is, is it being done, or will it be done on the orders of Putin? We've heard uh, we've heard chatter uh, that the Germans intercepted that talked about the killing of civilians. Uh, ordering the killing of civilians, but uh, civilians. But uh, I, I want to go beyond that and say the wholesale methodical slaughter of Ukrainians. Would that do it? Is and I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying would that do it? And even then, I have my doubts. Well, Vladimir Putin might use uh, chemical weapons or even tactical nuclear weapons if he doesn't get a conventional victory in eastern Ukraine. Says. One guy, Neil Ferguson, is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution at Stanford, and he said on a television program that uh, he thought that's what would happen. Yeah, but that is one guy. Uh, Jennifer, uh, what's going on? Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Russia is expected to be accused of more war crimes in Ukraine after a train station attack. About 4,000 people, mostly women and children, and as I was telling you, were on the platform trying to escape when two rockets hit today. The countdown's on for today's historic launch to the International Space Station. This is the first all-private crew flight. It'll blast off from Florida in just a few hours for a 10-day mission. And Twitter employees are getting a chance to question the new board member, Mr. Elon Musk. The SpaceX and Tesla CEO bought 9% of the social media giant, and he said he looks forward to helping the board make significant improvements. We'll get a look at your drive in just a moment. Uh, later on, I'm going to do a story about selling your home, and if you are interested in doing so, and this may definitely be the time, or maybe you've inherited a house, what do you do? Well, typically, you're going to list your house, 
and uh, you're going to pay 6%, and then the listing agent is going to tell you to clean and paint repair, because the house has to look spotless, and potential buyers are going to walk through, and you can't be there. You know, there's another way of doing it, getting a fair price without any of that hassle. No buyer walks through, no 6%. Uh, you can live like a slob. You don't have to paint. You don't have to repair. You don't have to clean. And you get paid in cash and within 10 days or less. Directbuyers.com. They'll give you an honest, no obligation offer, even a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your move. And they'll never lowball you, and that is so critical to me. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny and hot one more time today with a heat advisory in effect until 6 tonight. Highs will range from the upper 80s at the beaches to the low 100s inland. This report is brought to you by Whole Foods Market. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. Now we're heading to the five. <laughs> Go around through the Buena Park area, northbound side, just off Beach Boulevard. It's a two-car smash that though has been uh, cleared to the right shoulder. Has the carpool lane taken away. Definitely still seeing a bit of a rush go for you on the five northbound though from before Beach Boulevard. And you'll see those delays continuing ahead, unrelated into the Lower Mirada Tort Valley View from the northbound on the five. Still still going for you as well from Santa Fe Springs and Norwalk off the six oh five. You'll see those delays into Commerce towards Flossum, and then beyond that five northbound out of Commerce in East LA off the seven ten toward downtown LA and the one oh one. Definitely rough for your ride. KFI and this guy helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Pagliarchini. At Whole Foods Market, enjoy 20% off sustainable, wild-caught, previously frozen Chilean sea bass fillets through April 12th, plus an extra 10% off for Prime members while supplies last. Learn more on the Whole Foods Market app. This report is sponsored by Save Our Water. A little mulch goes a long way. Mulch reduces evaporation and saves water. Use it especially around your plants and trees. Visit SaveOurWater.com for more water-saving tips. That's SaveOurWater.com. Let's all do our part. Save water. Save California. Gas prices are high, so ride Amtrak and fuel your adventurous side without breaking your travel budget. Amtrak gets you there with more money in your wallet. Book in advance and save up to 20% at Amtrak.com. Restrictions and exclusions apply. Donate your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Over 35 million Americans have some level of dental anxiety. Cutting Dental specializes in people that have severe dental anxiety and people that need major work from years of neglect. They'll soothe your fears. They'll do your dental work while you sleep with either a gentle twilight sleep or a full anesthesia. And they can repair years of neglect in one or two appointments. You'll wake up to a new, beautiful smile, good dental health. And they do it all. Dental implants, crowns, root canals, full smile makeovers, and new permanent teeth in a day. Cutting Dental has been rebuilding smiles for over 53 years. They're veteran-owned business. Call now and get up to $1,500 off on major treatment. Offer expires April 30th. Restrictions apply. Get a free exam, x-ray, CT scan. You call Cunning Dental now at 888-640-SMILE. 888-640-SMILE. Remember, $1,500 off on major treatment. The offer expires April 30th. So call now. 888-640-SMILE. 888-640-SMILE. Cunning Dental. Head to Dodger Stadium Tuesday, April 19th, when the Dodgers host the Braves at 710. The first 40,000 fans in attendance will receive an adult hooded sweatshirt presented by Bank of America. Visit Dodgers.com slash promotions. Nothing works. None of your programs work. None of them. These people have to help themselves. They have to have the will to do something about their lives first. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, some other problems. You're not going to change that because you haven't dealt with their dysfunctions. John and Ken. We paid the two. They don't know how. On KFI. <laughs> KFI AM uh, 640. Bill Handel here. Friday morning, uh, April 8th. Let's continue with Handel on the news. Jennifer Wayne, me.
Sorry, and getting down to it. There we go. So, Ketanji Brown Jackson, as you mentioned, was confirmed as the first black female justice on the Supreme Court. And Harris said as she left the Capitol, she was overjoyed and deeply moved. The vote was exactly what we thought. 53-47 with those three extra votes coming away from the Republicans, and that would have been Senator Susan Collins, uh, Murkowski, and uh, Mitt Romney. No surprise. They're traitors. Yeah. They're traitors to the Republicans, aren't they? And so, County and Collins often get accused of that. Uh, it's, yeah, they, they really do. Now, well, I think the part that's uh, fairly interesting about this is uh, that uh, uh, Justice, uh, or uh, soon-to-be Justice uh, Jackson, still is going to sit on the Court of Appeals for D.C. and is not going to actually sit on the court until the next session that buyer is going to end the session. And she has to recuse herself from everything because everything could go up to the court. So she has to just sit there and go, Hi, how are things? Hey, what did you do over the weekend? Did you go to Costco? I did. I mean, what else? Can, uh, there's nothing for her to do. Oh, Well, the top dog of COVID variants in L.A. County is... B.A. 2 variant. According to the Department of Public Health, uh, in their last round of testing for what many people had, BA2 accounted for 47% of all infections, and that was two weeks ago, so it is likely it's now more than half of the infections. And this is maybe interesting statistically. It doesn't mean much. In fact, it might be good, because the number of cases have gone up, but not the number of hospitalizations, which is really the important thing. Right, which means more people are developing immunity based on getting COVID. So it's moving at a, it, and we're gonna have an uptick. There's no question, more people are gonna be getting it. We know that. Uh, the uptick is going on around the world. Uh, well, certain in certain countries, UK, China, uh, I think New Zealand uh, has really exploded. It went from nobody had COVID in one case of COVID, uh, and then now it's in the hundreds. So uh, there's a, so uh, no more no more sheep to have a rip roaring good time with. No, they actually have uh, you know sheep tourism. Did you know that? Just just mentioning. Yeah, I mean I I, I know a guy who knows a guy who oh, of course of course. Mm -hmm. I remember when that lower court said, no, all federal employees don't have to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Well, then that went to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and now in a two-to-one ruling, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has reversed that lower court's decision and ordered dismissal of a lawsuit challenging President Biden's requirement that all federal employees be vaccinated against COVID-19. So this is a win for the administration as of right now. But wait, there's more. This can go on, correct, gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Now, sure. here's the question. Will the Supreme Court even take this case? And I don't know if this is important enough for the court to take. Uh, well, they have a step in between. They can ask the whole Fifth Circuit to hear it, all the judges, not just a three-judge panel. Then maybe they can go to the Supreme Court. Right. And it's the Fifth Circuit, you know, New, out of New Orleans. Pretty conservative. It's not, yeah. been, it's not been very friendly to the Biden administration. In California, Republican lawmakers want to put an end to extra good time credits for inmates. That was put into place during the pandemic, and uh, it actually allows some violent offenders to get more time off their sentences than they were able to get before. It was meant to be temporary, but now the Department of Corrections is considering making it permanent, thus the hue and cry in the attempt to get rid of it altogether. And I have a couple questions about that. Uh, one is, we know that there is a pretty substantial uptick in crime. And has that been connected to uh, more people being released? I don't know if they, if they put the dots, if they've connected the dots. And the other thing, among conservatives who, of course, want to undo this, they want more time for criminals. They want less than behavior time off. Uh, the question is, since the system is not working at all, everybody knows the system is broken. Tell me what the answer is. I'd like to know what your thoughts are about the answer here. You are speaking, you are speaking rhetorically to the people 
who are complaining about these policies? Uh, yes. You're asking us right now. Uh, I'm, both. I'm asking you, and mainly those people that are arguing uh, sentences should be stiffer, uh, and the system simply doesn't work the way it, uh, it, it, the way it works now, or doesn't work now. So well, they're, they're going to need reality to completely change because yeah. the, the, the big challenge here is that courts have said there's a limit on um, your prison population. So if they didn't have a limit, they could say just lock everybody up all the time forever, but that's not feasible. And I don't know that they have any thoughtful approaches uh, given those restrictions. But something that would help is to do a better job of prioritizing who will arrest and who will prosecute and who will send them to prison. Uh, because if you go through, uh, especially at lower security facilities, you go, what are you in for? What are you in for? You know, half of those people really don't need to be in a prison. And I'm saying that looking at prisons as a precious, rare resource. We only sense. have yeah. so much capacity. We should be using it for the people who the only thing that can really work with them is to keep them away from me. And there's and a lot of sense. criminals that, where that is exactly what I want. And then the issue of deterrence. Uh, we now have a situation where it's a slap on the wrist. Where you literally go to the police department, uh, you make a complaint, and the other one is arrested and is out the door before you get home. Uh, it's said, uh, uh, there are arrests for that, and uh, I'm mean, serious penalties, like imprisonment without possibility of parole, some graffiti. A human rights group says Russia is using a new type of weapon in the invasion against Ukraine, a landmine that has sensors that detect when people walk by. Yeah. says Ukrainian bomb techs found a device last week near the eastern city of Kharkiv. The advanced landmine sensors could even tell the difference between the footsteps of humans versus animals. Firefighters have rescued 11 people yeah. 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 at Universal Studios, the LA Fire Department says. The Transformers ride lost power yesterday afternoon, leaving the people stranded for more than two hours. Gas prices in L.A. County have dropped by the biggest amount since the start of the pandemic. In March 2020, the average price of a gallon of self-serve regular gas has dropped 2 cents in a day to $5.90. The price is down 17.5 cents in the last 11 days. Gas prices in Orange County have dropped 10 days in a row to an average of almost $5.85. And for the lowest gas prices in your area, you can check out our website at kfiam640.com, keyword gas. And in Kentucky, they started noticing a foamy substance in the creek. 
I started trying to figure out what it was. Turns out it was dog shampoo. A pet shampoo company released one of its products into a storm drain that dumps into the creek. The company says what was in the water is non-toxic, since the shampoo is simply coconut-based. We'll get a look at your drive with VKFI in the sky in just a moment, but first it's Sports with Wayne. Oh, the Lakers lost again, falling to the Golden State Warriors 128-112. to L.A. returns home to host the Oklahoma City Thunder at 7.30. Now, baseball, the thing I talked about at the beginning of the show. There's some one-sided drama emerging ahead of the Dodgers' opening game against the Rockies. As the Braves' Ronald Acuna Jr. threw some shade at his former teammate, now a Dodger, Freddie Freeman. Here's Freeman's super class act response. Obviously, I've heard everything that was said, but, you know, I, I'm going to miss Ronald. My family's going to miss Ronald. Um, I love Ronald Acuna, and I can't wait for him to get healthy and get on the field. I think he's great for the game of baseball. The Dodgers mm -hmm. Rockies game gets underway at 1 10 this afternoon, live in HD on the iHeart app. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. I have had plenty of water filters in my time. For the last several years, uh, I have I had a nice little full house water filtration system. And let me tell you why I uh, absolutely think it's well, certainly the best filter I've ever had. First of all, it connects directly to your plumbing from outside, which means every faucet, every tap uh, produces this highly filtered, delicious, uh, obviously very safe water. And uh, it removes chlorine, chloramines, harsh chemicals. I mean, you can go on and on. Reduces problems caused by hard water. If you buy bottled water, you, know, you don't have to do that anymore. 